Good day, travelers. Welcome to this complete Key West, Florida travel guide. Nestled at the southernmost tip of the continental United States, the enchanting island city of Key West is a treasure trove of beauty, culture, and history. As the sunniest city in America, it's a place where the sun shines an average of 300 days a year. Brimming with vibrant coral reefs, picturesque beaches, and iconic landmarks, there's no shortage of adventure and exploration that awaits you here. From the bustling Mallory Square to the lively Duval Street, from the historic Ernest Hemingway Home and Museum to the breathtaking southernmost Point Buoy. From the invigorating water sports at Smathers Beach to the tranquility of the Key West Butterfly and Nature Conservatory. Not to forget the timeless charm of Fort Zachary Taylor Historic State Park, the underwater wonders of snorkeling or diving tours, and the panoramic views from the Key West Lighthouse and Keeper's Quarters Museum. Embark on a journey with us as we explore the top 10 must-see spots in Key West. Our first stop is the vibrant Mallory Square. This bustling square, steeped in history, was once the heart of Key West's booming wrecking industry. Today it's a hub of activity, teeming with energy and life. Mallory Square is renowned for its daily sunset celebration, a tradition that dates back to the 1960s. Every evening, as the sun dips below the horizon, the square comes alive with performers and spectators. From tightrope walkers to fire eaters, jugglers to musicians, the square's performers add an extra dash of color and excitement to the already stunning sunset show. Street vendors and food stalls fill the air with the tantalizing aroma of local cuisine, while the charming shops offer a variety of unique souvenirs. Mallory Square is a melting pot of cultures, flavors, and experiences embodying the spirit of Key West. With its lively atmosphere and stunning sunsets, Mallory Square is a place you simply cannot miss in Key West. Next, we find ourselves in the heart of Key West, Duval Street. This vibrant, mile-long stretch is truly the lifeblood of the city. It's a delightful blend of historic architecture, tropical vibes, and eclectic character that embodies the spirit of Key West. As we wander down the street, the aroma of fresh seafood and Cuban coffee wafts from the myriad of restaurants and cafes. You'll find everything from fine dining establishments to quirky and unique eats. Whether you're in the mood for a gourmet meal or a quick bite, the abundant culinary options will satiate your food cravings. The shopping scene is equally diverse, with an array of boutiques, art galleries and souvenir shops. Here you can find everything from local crafts to designer fashion. And when the sun goes down, Duval Street transforms into an energetic nightlife hotspot with live music, bustling bars and vibrant clubs. Whether you're a foodie, a shopaholic or a night owl, Duval Street has something for everyone. Now we're off to a highlight of Key West, the southernmost point buoy. Situated at the corner of South and Whitehead Streets, this painted buoy marks the southernmost point in the continental United States. But here's a fun fact for you. The buoy isn't actually the southernmost point, it's a little north of it. The real southernmost point is on the Truman Annex property of the Naval Air Station Key West, and it's off-limits to civilians. The buoy itself has a rich history. Installed in 1983, it's become an iconic symbol of Key West. It's painted with the words 90 miles to Cuba, reminding us of our close proximity to our neighbors across the sea. In the face of hurricanes, the buoy stands firm, just like the resilient spirit of Key West. It's been repainted a few times, but its charm never fades. So when you're in Key West, make sure to snap a photo at the southernmost point buoy, a classic Key West keepsake. Our next stop is a treat for literature lovers, the Ernest Hemingway Home and Museum. This Spanish colonial-style residence, nestled in the heart of Old Town Key West, was the home of Nobel Prize laureate Ernest Hemingway for nearly a decade. It was during his time here that Hemingway penned some of his most enduring works, drawing inspiration from the tropical climate and vibrant local culture. The house itself is a marvel, boasting unique features such as the first in-ground pool in Key West and Hemingway's personal writing studio, but perhaps the most charming aspect of this historic site is its current residence, a clouder of six-toed cats, descendants of Hemingway's own pet, Snow White. These felines, each bearing extra digits, have become as much a part of the Hemingway lore as the author himself. If you're a fan of literature or history, the Ernest Hemingway Home and Museum is a must-visit. 
it's time to dive into some fun activities in Key West. First off, let's talk about the iconic sunset cruises. Now imagine yourself aboard a classic schooner, the wind gently brushing against your face as the warm hues of the setting sun paint the sky. The sunset cruise is a must-do, not just for the breathtaking views, but also for the chance to spot dolphins frolicking in the waters. Truly, it's an experience that will make your heart sing. Moving on, we have the water sports at Smathers Beach. This is the largest public beach in Key West and is a hub for adrenaline junkies. Here, you can indulge in jet skiing, parasailing, or even paddleboarding. And if you're not much of an adrenaline junkie, don't worry. The beach's soft, sandy shores make for an excellent place to relax and soak up some sun. Now, if you're a fan of the underwater world, Key West won't disappoint. The island's snorkeling and diving tours offer an exclusive peek into the vibrant marine life. Swim alongside tropical fish, marvel at the colorful coral reefs, and if you're lucky, you might even encounter a sea turtle or two. It's an underwater paradise that will leave you awestruck. Lastly, for those of you who prefer a serene and calming atmosphere, the Key West Butterfly and Nature Conservatory is your haven. This tropical paradise houses hundreds of butterflies from around the world, fluttering amidst cascading waterfalls and exotic plants. It's a tranquil oasis that allows you to step away from the hustle and bustle and simply revel in nature's beauty. Whether you're an adventurer or a nature lover, Key West offers a variety of activities to suit every traveler's taste. Now let's delve into the rich history of Key West. Nestled in the heart of Key West, we find Fort Zachary Taylor Historic State Park. Named after our 12th president, this mid-19th century fort played a critical role in the Civil War, serving as a Union outpost in Confederate waters. Today, it's a remarkable window into the past, where visitors can step back in time and discover the fort's fascinating history. Walking through the fort's old brick corridors and ramparts, you can almost hear the echoes of the soldiers who once stood guard here, defending our nation's southernmost point. The park isn't just about history, though. It's also home to one of Key West's best beaches, where visitors can enjoy swimming, snorkeling, or simply lounging in the sun after a tour of the fort. And if you're a fan of bird watching, the park is a haven for a variety of feathered friends. From the fort, we journey on to the Key West Lighthouse and Keeper's Quarters Museum. This lighthouse, standing at an impressive 88 feet, has been a beacon for seafarers since 1848. It's one of the oldest in the country and has withstood hurricanes, wars and the test of time. Today, it offers visitors a chance to climb the 88 steps to the top, where they're rewarded with a breathtaking panoramic view of the island. Adjacent to the lighthouse, the Keeper's Quarters Museum tells the story of the brave men and women who kept the lighthouse running, ensuring the safety of countless ships. Exploring the museum, you'll find a range of artefacts from the lighthouse's operational days, personal belongings of the keepers, and even tales of shipwrecks and rescues. And there you have it, a journey through time at Fort Zachary Taylor Historic State Park and the Key West Lighthouse and Keeper's Quarters Museum, two sites that encapsulate the spirit and resilience of Key West. Key West is not just about fun and sun, it's also a treasure trove of history waiting to be explored. As our journey through Key West comes to an end, let's recap what we've covered. We kicked off our adventure at the vibrant Mallory Square, where the sunset is a spectacle to behold. Then we strolled down the lively Duval Street, soaking in the sights and sounds of Key West's unique culture. We made our mark at the southernmost Point Buoy, a photo op not to be missed. The Ernest Hemingway Home and Museum offered an intriguing glimpse into the life of the literary genius. At Smathers Beach, we embraced the thrill of water sports, while the Key West Butterfly and Nature Conservatory brought us face to face with nature's vibrant palette. The historic Fort Zachary Taylor State Park offered a time travel experience and we plunged into the depths of the ocean on a snorkeling or diving tour. Lastly, the Key West Lighthouse and Keeper's Quarters Museum lit up our understanding of the island's maritime history. That wraps up our complete guide to Key West, Florida. Until our next adventure, safe travels.